Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to uh, your daily quickie for Cancer versus all 12 signs. So this is going to be for April 22nd. Uh, I am not going to be doing timestamps on this, so I would like to give a super big and special thank you um, to anyone viewing this, my subscribers, uh, whoever's posting the timestamps. I appreciate you so very much, guys, okay? Um, all right, so let's get popping here. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Gina. I hope everyone's safe, happy, healthy, doing well. Everything else you could possibly need is in the description box below. Ooh, below, okay? Um, all right, so let's get started here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus versus all 12 signs, please, Spirit. For April 22nd, please, Spirit. All 12 signs, please. All right. So we're going to do Earth, Water, Fire, and Air, Collective, um, uh, Career, and then Singles. Okay, guys? So we're starting with Virgo. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Ace of Swords. We have the Hanged Man. And we've got the Knight of Wands. So, Cancer, I feel like this Virgo sees and realizes that you are a blessing, okay? And they want to come towards you, but there's something stopping this person. They have to wait, and it's torturing them. So, I don't know maybe if this person's overseas, if they're in the army, if they're in prison, um, if they just can't. Maybe you guys wait, you know, maybe you are chased, is that the word chaste and you you're waiting until marriage or maybe you just started dating this person and you don't you know give it up that quickly and they have to wait um this is somebody that wants to jump your bones cancer this is someone that wants to come at you you feel me but they have to wait and they're suffering because they have to wait to come towards you if we're dealing with a capricorn we have the star card we've got the hermit we have the five of cups and we have the Six of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like you had so much, this Capricorn gave you so much hope for this connection. But now that you're really sitting back and analyzing the situation, you really regret. You really regret what you did with this person. This could be an ex cancer that you had and you may have reunited with this ex and now you regret it. Now you regret it because they gave you hope and maybe walked away. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Queen of Wands. We have the Strength card. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. And we've got the Empress. Whew, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this person thinks that you are hot, sexy, sassy, mom material, wifey material, Ten of Pentacles, you are on your game. This person sees you as the person that they are about to tie down for real, for real, okay? If you're dealing with a Cancer, we've got the Seven of Swords, we have Temperance, we've got the Tower, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Cancer, if you're dealing with another Cancer, this person lied about something big and they're just waiting for this whole connection to fall apart. They don't want it to fall apart because they know that you're pre empress material. You know what I'm saying? They know they messed up really bad, but they're just waiting for you to find out the truth about something and they know that this is going to be bad. They just know it. If you're dealing with a Pisces, we've got the Page of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups, we have the Five of Wands, and we've got the Five of Swords. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces here, someone really wants to apologize. You don't want to hear the apology though, okay? There was a really bad fight that broke out here. It could have been, you know, because of regular drama, or it could have been someone here was feeling a little jealous, having fear, a little insecurity. But with the Five of Swords, it, someone walked out. They walked out, they wanted to have the last word, and now someone just really doesn't want to hear the apologies anymore. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the Lover's card, we have the Hierophant, we've got the King of Pentacles, and we've got the Ten of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this person's going to make the decision to commit to you. Very strong soul tie. The problem is you have outside entities that can't take it. 
you've got outside people that are dying because you and this Scorpio are actually trying to make things work and this person's choosing you, okay? If we're dealing with a Leo, we have the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Wands. We have the Knights of Cups. And we've got the Fool card. Okay, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo... I feel like someone is going to come in with a thank you, okay? This is, you're helping this Leo overcome something, and they want to come in with a thank you. They want to come in with a gift, because with the Fool card, it's like you've ha you're helping this person set themselves free from something, or maybe start a new beginning. Maybe you're meeting a Leo, just starting to date them, and this Leo was in a really bad place, and they actually want to thank you for making them laugh again. You see what I'm saying? Um, if we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the Ten of Swords, we have the Three of Wands, we've got the Eight of Cups, and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, 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 Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sag, this person's missing you. You may have walked away from this person. They may, you know, it's Ten of Swords, that's like it's really over. You know what I'm saying with the Ten of Swords? And they're missing you. They're thinking about the past. They're very nostalgic. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Queen of Cups, we have the Three of Cups, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, you're dealing with someone that wants to come back, reconcile with you, uh, take you out, go on a date, that this person wants to come back together with you, and they want to come back together in a very serious way, okay? They're, they're coming back to commit. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, we've got the Knight of Swords, we have the Six of Swords, and then we've got the Five of Pentacles. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is somebody that rushes into your life telling you that they're going to do all of these things and then the next minute they don't even pick up their phone. This is someone that rushes in with so many promises Oh my gosh, they, they rush in with all these promises. They're going to make it work. They're going to do better. They're going to try harder. And then they don't even pick up their phone. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Nine of Cups. We have the High Priestess. We've got the Chariot. And we've got the Justice card. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is somebody that, you know, actually wants to make you happy. I feel like their intuition might be telling you that they have, no, their intuition might be telling them that, you know, they need to come in and, and do the right thing and fix whatever was done here. This person may have acted very selfishly and worried about their own needs, and now they're coming in to make it right. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the... Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Oh, my Lanta. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, just go home. Just, just go home. Shut off your phone. Hide under a pillow. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. This person is just a mess, okay? Someone's about to find out on someone's phone, email, whatever, dating site, that someone here has either been talking or sleeping with a lot of people. Okay, get a, a test done, STD test, whatever, disinfect your house with Lysol. I don't know what you got to do, but seriously, that's a bad one. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the collective. We've got the Four of Wands, the Two of Wands, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, and the Sun with the Queen of Swords, and the devil. Okay. So cancer, I feel like someone here is about to make a decision. Okay. Between two situations, two situations, there's going to be one person that wins, that's going to live happily ever after. And there's another person here that's going to be really pissed off, really bitter, really scorned, really angry, really envious. So you're going to have some eyes on you here, Cancer. Just be careful with that, okay? Definitely protect yourself. Definitely protect yourself um, because you've got, it could be a job. It could be that you get chosen for a job over someone else, or maybe you get an apartment and someone else doesn't, or maybe you're buying a house and someone else doesn't, or maybe, you know, someone was 
chosen to be the maid of honor and you weren't someone was chosen to be the godparent and you weren't or or they weren't do you see what i'm saying or someone chose to commit to one person and not the other could be capricorn aquarius gemini libra energy sag aries leo this is this is bad like one person's winning and the other person's really putting some evil eye on on the one that's having success so be careful cancer career we've got the judgment card we have the magician and we've got the two of swords cancer career wise you're gonna have to make a big decision okay you are manifesting something and the divine is going to push you into alignment to receive what you want to manifest a lot of people think that manifesting is easy it's not it doesn't mean that you're going to manifest something and then a little stork is going to show up or or a little you know elf is going to show up at your door or a unicorn is going to walk by and just drop it off for you that's not the way it works okay if you manifest something it's going to require a lot of change and challenges on your life to align your yourself to receive that okay and I feel like you're going to be faced with some tough decisions to do that today six of wands though I do see you being successful okay so cancer singles we've got the eight of wands page of wands the two of pentacles okay so cancer you might be dealing with a younger person maybe even a fire sign Leo Sagittarius this person may be young or immature or super funny um, you know, loves to talk, loves to go out, loves to have a good time, but you're very unsure of this person. Eight of Swords, you may think that this person's a cheater or a liar or with the Moon card has secrets. Uh, with the Four of Swords, I feel like, you know, you like this person, but you're not so super excited about it. You're staying calm because you don't know what this person's up to. We've got the Four of Pentacles and the World card. Yeah, I, I feel like you're deciding to just keep your feelings and your life to yourself um, with that World card. It's like this is kind of the situations that you've left behind before. You know, immaturity, just wanting to go out, have fun, have sex. Like, I feel like you're going to maybe go for the good time, but then you're like, oh, do I really want to invite this back into my life again? And you're like, no, I've learned my lessons. I'm going to go sit home have some tea, read a book. Where's my Kindle? I don't even know. Like you're just, yeah. See nine of wands, two of cups and the 10 of cups. You're protecting yourself until you meet that perfect person. You're done with the fly by nights and the, the immaturity. Okay. All right, guys, I love you all so much and I'll see you soon.